many different ways. It's either gonna work out great or it's not. Hello everyone, Ashley here with Ashley Told an Art. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. We've got a really cool Western themed painting again. It's been a while since I've done one and I am so excited to get back into doing another well, horse one. I, I love the horse painting. So I hope you enjoy this whole process. If you're not subscribed already, um, hit that subscribe button so that you can follow along on many, many more painting journeys. And at the end of the video, if you enjoyed it, please give it a like or leave a comment. With that, I will stop talking and get to painting. I'll see you there. Okay, so I was going for kind of a Mark Maggiore look. I'm not gonna lie. I just don't think it's gonna fit the painting. I don't know that that's the vibe that this painting is going for yet. I have a new plan for this one. I am going to focus on the subject since obviously that's the most important part of the painting. I'm gonna tackle the rider and the horse first and kind of get their color scheme correct. I don't wanna like get the background perfect and then do the the subject and be like, wow, it's too busy, too messy, you know. Oh my gosh, you guys, I've never painted an actual human face before. I've done humans in paintings, but I've always managed somehow to kind of obscure the face so that you don't see it full on. And this is my first time not doing that, and that makes me so nervous. <laughs> that I thought the blue that was on my palette was ultramarine, but it's actually phalo blue. So it's got a green tinge to it. So if the guy's skin, like the undertone looks green, that's why, because I was an absolute ding dong and didn't realize that it wasn't ultramarine blue, it was phalo. So... This background was alarmingly distracting and instead of making you guys stare at it for the entirety until I retouched it up I figured I would just go over and just kind of dull it out <laughs> a little bit. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but already, instead of just everything blending, it's leaving it a little bit more streaky, which is exactly what I was going for.
Okay, so to me, this area of the neck looks too flat. There's something right there that needs to be worked on. Um, that needs a slight touch up. And then of course, the background, which I'm not super happy with, but let's just get started and get going. It's finally done, which is super exciting. I just have to finish painting these edges of the uh, of the canvas and sign it, and then we'll be good to go. Okay, we're done. We're done. We're done. It's exciting. That's a wrap on this painting. Thank you so much for joining today. I hope you liked it. If you want to see more content like this, consider subscribing and then you can follow along on the entire journey and see many more paintings like this one. Uh, this painting is currently available and it will be a part of the November collection release. Uh, for more details on that, check out my website and specifically my newsletter where I can give you all the details on pricing and release dates and then you get priority access all the good stuff so check that out it is in the description box below and as always thank you for joining and i can't wait to see you in the next one